In this video lesson you will learn how to enable login in your Spring Boot Web Service application built with Spring Boot. To use login in our Spring Boot Web application we do not really need to add any additional dependency or a library other than Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency which you might already have. To check if you have it, go into pomxml file and then look up a dependency that is called Spring Boot Starter Web. If you do already have Spring Boot Starter Web dependency, then there is no need to add any additional dependency to make login work. I'll go back to my controller class. On my screen right now, I have a very simple REST controller class opened with a few very simple methods. Each method handles a specific HTTP request. Let's take, for example, a method that handles HTTP delete request and log a message when this method is called. To log a message, I'll need to get a logger object for this class. So at the very top of my controller class, I'll get a logger first. Like this. Now I will need to import logger interface. And there are different implementations of this interface. And the one that I will pick is simple login facade for Java, SLF4, like this. Now I have my logger and I can use this logger object to log message into a console or into a file. Default login level that is already enabled for us to use is info and we can use it right away. So instead of my delete user method, I will use logger dot and then info and I can provide a message that I want to log. For example, deleting user with ID. All right, so now let's run this application and see if it works. I will start up it as a Spring Boot application. Now I will bring in Postman HTTP client. I will start a new tab and I will send HTTP delete to localhost port number 8080 forward slash users. And then I will need to provide a user ID that I want to delete, a simple alphanumeric string of characters, and send this request. And here we go, I got a response, HTTP delete request was sent. Now I will switch to Spring Tool Suite and I will expand a console so that I can see what's in there. And I will look for the last message here at the info level that says deleting user with ID and then the ID that was passed in. I can send a request one more time, minimizing this window a little bit, send a few more and you see the message is being locked. All right, so this is working and there are other login levels that are available for us. If I scroll up a little bit and then use my logger, put dot, there is debug level, there is warn, there is trace and there is error. If you want to log a message on one of these login levels other than info, then you will need to enable that login level. Let's say I want to enable login at the debug level. So I will change info to debug. To do that, I will open application properties file. And inside of application properties file, I will type login and then dot level dot and then I will need to provide a logger. And to do that, I will provide my application package. So it's com apps developer block equals and then the login level that I want to enable, debug. Now I'll save my application properties file and I will restart this application and see how it works. My application is up and running. I'll go back to Postman and we'll repeat this HTTP request. And here we go. Now I have a message locked at the debug level and the message is here. All right, so it is working and you now know how to log a message in your Spring Boot web application. If this video lesson was helpful, please click on the like button and please subscribe to my channel because I have many more video tutorials for you.